Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. How many people watching this channel right now are old enough to remember how video games used to work? When I say used to work, I mean how in 1990, you take a cartridge, you plug it into the console, and it works. It doesn't have to connect to the internet. That game will still work right now in 2023 as long as the cartridge and as long as the console are in working operating order. For a PC game, you would take a CD-ROM or a floppy disk or some sort, or you could download the game online. You would install the video game. You would type a key into it that came in the box or in the manual or in an email, and that video game would work. That video game would work in 1997 the same way that it would work in 2027. The video game does not stop working at, at some point in time because there's a program that has to connect to the internet that's not able to. Maybe some of the multiplayer aspects of that game will not work 20 years later. But the video game itself will function. It seems like this is something that is coming to an end, and it is just one more step in that entire you own nothing future that we are moving towards that I don't particularly like. I'm not much of a gamer anymore, but I sympathize with people that have these problems. This comes from a customer that contacted Steam support. Valve tends to be a fairly more pro-consumer company when it comes to these things, and their CEO seems to have some positive takes on piracy and how to prevent piracy, and I appreciate that. But there are other times like now where it seems like there's a little bit of out-of-touchness going on, and you let me know. Am I being a Luddite that simply wants to return to a bygone era that will never exist again, or is this really something that we should push for? So this is a customer asking about Windows 7. Subject, ending Windows 7 support questions. Hello. I've tried to go through the correct methods of trying to communicate with Steam to try to ask my questions, but I get stuck in a loop without being able to actually ask my questions. Your company has stated that it is going to end support for Windows 7. Question 1. Will I still be able to play my games that I have installed on my Windows 7 machine? Question 2. Will I be able to install, quote, new games, end quote, from the Windows 7 era or older games on it that are being sold through Steam. The reason why I am asking is I am still using Windows 7 to play a significant part of my gaming library because the games I enjoy play well on it, whereas they are extremely buggy on Windows 10 if they even run at all. Note, if I will not be able to run the software to be able to install, play, or run games that are in my library because your software is magically disabled via an update, then there is no point in me purchasing any new software through you. I will stop making all purchases from your platform for myself, my family, and various friends. This is because you will do the same with Windows 10 when its time has come. I will never be purchasing a Windows 11 computer or putting that garbage system on any computer that I own. I will be going to Linux before that happens. Even if your store works on Linux, almost all the games that you sell do not run on it. And unless your company feels like putting in updates for each and every game to make it Linux compatible, your software will be useless to me. Note 2. I understand and can agree with your desire to keep your accounts and your user base secure. Rather than completely disabling the ability to use your software, can you simply turn off the store on the obsolete operating systems? This will keep bad actors from being able to make purchases without the user's authorization while simultaneously allowing us to continue playing the game. I have been a loyal customer since the 2000s. I do not want to have to start looking elsewhere to get my games. Please be smart about how you handle the Windows 7 issue. If you do it the right way, I will continue to be your customer for many years to come. If you try to force me to have to use a newer OS to continue to use Steam, then we will be parting ways. Thank you for your patience. Please let me know what your answer is so that I can start looking elsewhere and warn family and friends of how you intend to treat them. Now, admittedly, this is kind of salty. Please let me know your answer so that I can start looking elsewhere. He's kind of assuming that he's going to get the worst possible answer. This email is written in a very salty way. And when you get emails that are written in this very salty way, a lot of the times the customer service person is going to assume there's nothing I can do to help this anyway. I'm just going to give a canned response and move on. I know because, again, I employ people that have to respond to people that are salty at times, and sometimes they do that. Um, and here's the response that Steam had. Hello. Thank you for contacting Steam Support. We appreciate your patience while we're reviewing all the information you have provided. Per our official announcement here, Windows 7 and 8 support, the Steam client will no longer be able to run on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 in January of 2024. Steam support does not have any further details outside of what is included in the announcement at this time. Our recommendation will be that you upgrade your operating system prior to the end date to avoid any disruption in service. Thank you for your valuable contribution to the Steam community. Chris, aka FU. <laughs> Hello. The whole point of me contacting you is to have you answer the other questions or to do your due diligence and digging up more information than what is in the announcement. If you're not able to do that or will not provide any different any additional information, then you'll leave me no choice but to assume the worst. That will cost you quite a few customers. Hello, thanks for getting back to us. I understand how you feel regarding this concern. However, as we have previously mentioned, regarding your multiple concerns, Steam support is unable to provide any further information outside of what is included in the announcement at this time. We strongly suggest and encourage all Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users to update sooner rather than later. And that's pretty much it. Now, again, what he's asking for seems rather reasonable. 
He's not asking for the ability to continue playing online. He's not asking to continue to be able to buy games. He simply wants to be able to continue to play the games that he purchased when he purchased them on Windows 7 into the future on that Windows 7 system. If I take, if I drag out that Dell Dimension 233 that I had as a kid and I want to play Warcraft 3 on Windows 95, God damn it, I can take that thing out of the closet right now. Hit the power button. Okay, maybe not. The, the, the hard drive, oh my, the hard drive is probably going to click. After I get Steve to recover the data off of my hard drive and clone it to something else with PC 3000, after that's done, I can hit the power button on the Dell Dimension 233, boot it up into Windows 95. 100% of the games and that 300 CD catalog that I have will be playable. Every single one of them will play because they do not depend on a client that always connects to the internet before running. The Steam client is always connecting to the internet before running and it's going to be able to detect. I'm not the latest client. Please update. The latest client will not work and then your game will not work. If you purchased a game in 2010, I believe that you should be able to play that game on the 2010 system as it was in 2010 if you so choose to. You should have the ability to do that without having to connect to the internet. You should have the ability to play that game without having to deal with this. And the idea that your game may not work, if you bought a game catalog on Windows 7, that you cannot continue to play that on a Windows 7 computer, it kind of sucks. And I know what people are going to say. Well, why, just update. Why don't you just update? Update the newest version. What if you don't want to? You bought the game for this operating system. If you paid for the computer, you paid for the operating system, and you paid for the game, you should be able to, if you want, unplug the Ethernet cable from your computer and keep playing that game until the end of time if you want. You bought it. You own it, right? Doesn't seem that way. And that kind of sucks. I understand why people don't want to use Windows 10. Windows 10 is a pile of shit. I started using Linux uh, in 2002. I started using it more as a daily driver, 2003, 2004. I stopped in 2015 because it was incompatible with some of the stuff I wanted to do with video recording, but I figured out a way to do all that in Linux anyway. I put Windows 7 on my computer, and it kind of worked. I went to Windows 10. Oh my God, what a mess. The lag, the, I, I right-click on something in quick access on Windows Explorer, and Explorer just crashes. The amount of time that Explorer has taken... Like, upwards of 45 seconds to enter a folder that had eight files in it. It's just so horribly buggy. I despise Windows 10. And Windows 11, I'm not even going to go there. There are enough people on YouTube that have covered why you should never install Windows 11 on your computer. I understand why if somebody has a gaming system, why they would want to keep it on Windows 7. And again, if you don't want to let that person purchase new games, if you don't want them to have to deal with this because there's a security risk, that's understandable. You want to have a secure platform and you want it running on a supported operating system. I understand that. If you don't want to have them do business going forward, I can understand that, even if that's probably less than ideal. But to not allow people's old gaming library to work, I strongly suggest that Steam come out with some better messaging around this or a better solution. Again, if you have a gaming library, if you have spent thousands of dollars in a gaming library for a Windows 7 computer, I don't think that that should stop working simply because the client decides that it is no longer going to work with that older operating system. There has to be a better way to go about this, and there has to be a way to go about this that is a good solution for everyone involved. And again, some compromise may be involved. Some games may not be playable online or something like that. Some updates may not be available. But I think the option should be there for those who want to retain their system. It sends a message. It sends a pro-ownership message. Buy a game from us and it will work into the future on a system of your choice. Versus buy a game from us, and if you don't update your computer as we want, the game that you purchased 10 years ago will no longer work into the future, and screw you. I like that I can boot up my Dell Dimension 233, and every game on that thing will work. I like that I can boot up my 286 and a DOS 3.2, and every one of those games that I installed on that drive, again, may need a little bit of help from Steve up there with the PC3000, because uh, get. God knows those hard drives probably don't work anymore, but once he, once he recovers and clones it, those games will work. I like that if I take out my PlayStation 1 or my PlayStation 2, every single one of those games will work as they were supposed to. I don't like the idea of moving into a future where some of your games may not work, even if you purchase them on the system that you bought them on. There are a lot of video games nowadays that require a connection to the internet, even when you're not playing online, and I find that to be fundamentally unacceptable. It is anti-consumer, it is anti-freedom, and it is just, it's just not the future that I think we should be moving towards. This all comes back to a very simple but fundamental question. If you purchase a game through Steam, and the game can only be started under Steam's conditions, and Steam can change those conditions with time, do you own the game, or does Steam own the game? It's a serious and important question to ask, 
and I'm very curious what your answers to this would be. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that this is a reasonable take? Or do you think that I should just tell people to install Windows 11 and 12 and 15 and 20 and 30 and so on and so forth? And if they don't, their game that they purchased back in 2007 or 8 may not work anymore. And that that's just the way that they should accept it. Let me know. If I'm being unreasonable, let me know. Oreo the cat is very interested in your opinion. He's feeling a little shy today. That's why he's not only avoiding the camera, but he's literally looking the opposite way of me. Sometimes he does this. He gets mad. I don't know why he's mad. He's gotten two cans of food this morning. He's gotten several pets and nuzzles. He slept on top of me. And in spite of that, he's literally staring this way. He's, he does this sometimes where he has his ass in my face. He looks the opposite way. And I say his name, Oreo, Oreo. He just ignores me. You have to like this. Oh, you can't stay mad at me when I give you nuzzles behind the ear, boy. You can't stay mad. Why are you so mad, boy? Why are you mad? Why are you mad, bro? All right. See you in the next video. Bye now.